Brothers and sisters, greetings in Christ. We hear that opening frequently when we begin many of St. Paul's epistles. And it's as appropriate today as it was in Paul's time, especially as we continue to journey together in our Eucharistic revival series. So, blessed Advent to all. And may the presence of Jesus be known to each of us as we travel to Bethlehem with Mary and Joseph and consider the lessons of John the Baptist to prepare the way. In this coming Sunday's Gospel reading from Matthew, John the Baptist chastises the Pharisees and Sadducees for their apparent insincerity in coming to be baptized along with others. The word among us, reflection for that Gospel, is enlightening. For John, repentance without change was like cutting off one branch of a tree when plenty of other branches are still bearing bad fruit. You need to take an ax to the entire root system that feeds all the branches. You need to ask the Lord to cut away the foundational attitudes and root sins that keep feeding all other sins. What are those roots? They differ with each person. Maybe they include long-standing resentments, positions of pride and self-sufficiency and prejudice, selfish desires or a lack of compassion. Whatever they are, we have to trust that as we ask the Lord to cut away these roots, we'll find freedom and a greater ability to change. God wants to give us a new way of thinking and acting. He wants to replace our foolishness with his wisdom. He wants to give us insights into his love and all that he can do in our hearts. And he wants to give us strength to obey his commands. But we have to come to him and confess our need. At Mass, you'll be asked and invited to cry out, Lord, have mercy. But you will also ask Jesus, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus loves to forgive your sins but he longs to heal your soul, your roots even more. So welcome him. Ask his spirit to keep making you into a new creation. Come, Lord, teach me to bear fruit in keeping with my repentance. May God bless us all.